అస్సలాము అలైకుం వరహమతుల్లాహి వరకాతు అండ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ డియర్ వివర్స్ టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ వుడ్ బీ నౌ మోరియన్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ మోరియన్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ లాంగ్ టాపిక్ వైర్ ఇన్ దిస్ వివర్ స్టడీ నెంబర్ వన్ sources where the sources from which we got the information about this modern administration number 2 was centralized administration of these modern number 3 would be revenue administration and that is if they usually to get revenue from the people how and when number 4 would be provincial and local administration provincial and local administration and number last but not least would be mauryan currency till now we had not seen any sort of currency but during this mauryan period some sort of currency seemed to be earlier we had seen seals so seals use it to be fortified fire medium of exchange exchange for trade that is they were used in place of this currency but now the currency had come in this mauryan period and before going to that let us first of all move to the first topic that is sources arthur shastra was one of the great book which was written by a famous scholar arth shastra it was written by kutilya kutilya had been living the reign of chandragupta maurya and chandragupta maurya as we know was the founder of this mauryan dynasty they had been from the period of 321 bc to 298 bc this arthashastra is an important source of this mauryan administration number 2 is indica by megasthenes indica is also a vast gives a vast knowledge about mauryans which is written by megasthenes megasthenes was a greek historian who gives us information about these mauryans hope will be learning it well number 3 was ashokan edicts ashokan edicts we know were of four types we have already discussed them in previous videos that number that is number 1 major rock edicts minor rock edicts pillar rock edicts and cave edicts these all edicts give us information about mauryan administration principles religion buddhism ashoka's reign period etc number 4th would be buddha buddhist literature or buddha literature buddha literature all the books are most all the literature 
of Buddhism gives some sort of information about this Mauryan administration as the Mauryan rulers, particularly Ashoka, was the follower of this Buddhism for religion. And number last was that of currency. What currency they had and what was the material used will be elaborated in the lectures coming. But so far we have known that what were the sources of Mauryan administration. Thank you for being with me in this brief lecture of knowing sources of Mauryan administration. Once again, I thank you for being with me. Hope you will share with your friends and others who will be in need of these lecture videos relating to the history subject. Thank you.